Phoenix PD just got busted for retaliating against a sergeant who blew the whistle on faulty kidnapping statistics. CBS 5's Peter Bush got a look at that report by the Office of the Inspector General, and he joins us live tonight with more. Peter? I was saying this really all started back in 2009 and 2010 when Phoenix Police Sergeant Phil Roberts really started the conversation about what he saw as skewed kidnapping statistics. Now, he told the feds that once he started speaking out, the department brass made his life a living hell. CBS 5 News was there from the beginning when Sergeant Phil Roberts was transferred out of his specialized robbery unit at police headquarters, headed for the department equivalent of the doghouse. Then, not long after Roberts wrote an August 2010 memo accusing the department of hyping kidnapping statistics, he was placed under administrative investigation. The Office of the Inspector General now says that was retaliation and it was wrong. Any government agency must always turn square corners every day in an every way. Fred Petty used to be an assistant U.S. attorney. He says Phoenix PD or any government agency has to do better or risk losing the public trust. It is always the cover-up rather than the action that causes the problem. It's just stunning to me that as a country, uh, the public officials in this country just haven't learned that yet. The OIG report did not sustain all of the retaliation allegations made by Roberts, in part because they determined Roberts did not qualify for whistleblower protection until he wrote his 2010 memo. Phoenix PD gave us a statement tonight saying in part, the Phoenix Police Department concurs with the OIG findings that no demotion, dismissal, or other discrimination had taken place in response to any protected disclosure. There is a second OIG report about the kidnapping stats themselves and whether or not Phoenix Police Department inflated those numbers to get some federal grant money. That report is due back later this month. Stay tuned. Reporting live, Peter Bush, CBS 5 News. Okay.